we could be measuring essentially the, the voltage that's being imposed by the galvanic protection devices in the system. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan and we answer your questions about boat systems. Today we have a question about electrical connections uh, on engines and the question is I measure a potential difference of 0.6 volts between the gearbox and the propeller shaft on my boat. A flexible coupling is installed in between. Is this voltage reading because the elastomer of this coupling is actually a conductor instead of being an isolator? Should I take action to reduce the voltage? Um, <laughs> I think it's the other way around. Um, First of all the coupling is not going to conduct if it's properly installed. I mean, it's a big hunk of rubber or rubber-like material in there. But you could still get a voltage reading from one side to the other. Let's say we've got a um, stainless steel prop shaft and we've got a couple of zincs or, or aluminum sacrificial anodes on it. They will be impressing a slight voltage or, or current on the system for galvanic protection. So uh, we could be measuring essentially the, the voltage that's being imposed by the galvanic protection devices in the system. So there's various ways we might get this reading. First of all, it's nothing to worry about. And um, secondly, we don't really know how we're getting it without a bit more investigation and knowing what else we've got in the system. But it's not because the, uh, the rubber insert there is conductive. All right, Nigel. Well, thanks for your take on that. And if you want to learn more about how to set up your grounding system on your boat and also about diesel engines, well, we have courses for both of them. So go to boathow2.com and check out our courses and uh, see you soon.